once again we are back on T-Talk Ek Bun Soch Ki with a series of an episodes uh, with uh, Mrs. Shraddha Neeraj. Uh, we are talking more in terms of an power of an uh, gratitude. Uh, many a times if we find as a family which are concerned like you know they might be sibling um, then uh, uh, you have got uh, the parents over there and uh, many a time there are conflicts which to happen like and uh, the desires are there in life like so like how a family can practice a gratitude like you know or uh, can you share with your target audience yes so one thing that i would want to bring out is this number which a lot of us don't know and mm-hmm. that is for every one complaint that you say Mm-hmm. for any relationship that is there in your life mm-hmm. to cancel the negative effect of that complaint mm-hmm. you need to give out five blessings right. so say for example i complained about say my sister that she never does things on time mm-hmm. now to negate this negative feeling that is there inside me mm-hmm. i have to talk about five good things that she does for me okay and this ratio if you follow every single day mm-hmm. i can assure you not a single relationship of yours will ever have any negative feeling 1 is to 5 like yes for one complaint five good things you have to think like mm-hmm. say for example if i think that my sister walked in late today mm-hmm. so my mind is complaining saying mm-hmm. that she's always late mm-hmm. and she doesn't value time Mm-hmm. and this is a complaint which is going in my mind mm-hmm. in once i've thought i have to be aware that i'm thinking a negative thought mm-hmm. i have to replace it with but i'm so grateful mm-hmm. that she's always supporting me in all the work that i do mm-hmm. you know i i am so grateful that i can rely upon her for a good cup of tea if mm-hmm. i want to have a cup of tea i always can ask her to make one for me and she she does that for me mm-hmm. i'm so grateful that if, if whenever i need a opinion on whether should i buy a thing or a b thing mm-hmm. she always gives me uh, you know a opinion which which will suit me or she mm-hmm. gives me a choice mm-hmm. which will make me look better mm-hmm. now imagine how how my immediate negative it, it, uh, mindset change is like totally towards positivity as a perfect okay so this is one of one of the most important ratio to remember mm-hmm. for every one complaint five Plus. blessings or five positive you know reasons for that person i think this is what what uh, one can practice at home i'm sure like uh, it's going to make uh, family happy yes ma'am next second thing is that uh, you have to uh, you know i understand we we stay together we have a certain way of dealing things all of us are unique individuals now if there, somebody has done in your family something that you find it's it's not suiting you or you know maybe it's you feel agitated and you want to communicate this message to that person mm-hmm. so there's a way which is called as the sandwich method mm mm-hmm. so you begin by appreciating the first person first mm-hmm. so say for example again taking my sister's example i didn't like the fact that she walked in late Mm-hmm. So if I have to communicate this to her mm-hmm. instead of going going and directly approaching her saying that how many times have I told you you should come on time mm-hmm. I can go on saying that you looking really pretty today mm-hmm. what made you come so late we are putting up right or i did not like the fact that you were late mm mm-hmm. but i'm sure you have a reason for this mm-hmm. so one positive you know you start off by appreciating something mm-hmm. you put out the concern mm-hmm. and then you end with again something on a positive note okay this will lead you to your communication mm-hmm. being a lot positive positive and a right. relationship also yes and rather than it being like you know what how many times have i told you that you should be on time and you okay. don't listen to me and you don't value my times instead of using all these statements correct be in a more use the word in a more humble way like correct so you begin with a positive anything that you can think i know that's a challenge to you know when you're agitated to think something positive is a big challenge big challenge yeah but train yourself to think something positive in that moment it could be as simple okay you're looking pretty today or else um, i'm glad you're safe back home you correct. know correct yeah but what what took you so long mm-hmm. why did you uh, you know come so late 
just yeah. a very simple straight statement straight, rather than yes. going with those you know negative sentences negative that you are sentence. always like this and yeah. that and this okay uh, how about next the third one is um we don't say i love you to our family mm-hmm. we really love them but we but never we express say, this express ourselves yeah so take out time when you really feel that gratitude or you know maybe some event has happened and you're really feeling that oh wow matlab i'm so grateful to my mom today i had had a long tiring day and when you come back home and she's made those hot piping yeah. hot meal for you yeah. you know that day you ate and you felt really nice you know you didn't have to go and step into kitchen do anything but you got food yeah. ready yeah. take out time after you you eat and you know, after you the whole thing is passed off go and tell your mom mama i love you yeah. you know we don't say this and that's the reason why the distance amongst the family Conflicts keeps arises, on going away going. and yeah. this will only come when you start feeling grateful for the efforts that your mom is taking correct 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 you know we take we take our moms for granted right correct so if That's you start just... taking for every person in your life if you stop taking that person for granted and you start noticing the the efforts that the person is putting in mm-hmm. you know they must be putting in every single day so you can't notice it correct. but just be mindful about it correct what she is doing for you like yeah. correct correct that's when you will find and you start being grateful to that you know i'm so glad my mom woke up today early morning and she made did the half bit of the work that i was supposed to do mm-hmm. so my half work got reduced and i could focus on my work it correct. could be like that right for so mother in law it can help yeah. like So I'm so grateful that she did that half bit. Mm-hmm. When you start being grateful like this, Correct. you will not your your communication with your family will improve. Correct. Your relationships will improve. Correct. You'll be mindful about your complaints and blessings. Correct. Will be healthy and possible like in the Absolutely. family. Absolutely. So these are the top three points that. Okay, the three uh-huh. points uh, on uh, practicing this gratitude with your family. I'm sure. uh you can have a very good healthy family and more understanding and you can build upon a relationship that's what tiktok channel is all about sharing small small nuggets and the insights that how we can have an uh like you know a uh, settled and good life like uh, ma'am thanks a lot for uh, sharing your thought process with the target thank audience so thank you very much just go to tiktok uh, www.tiktok.net subscribe and like the channel as much as you can and catch up with mrs shoda Neeraj on our next episode on T-Talk with Bunsoj ki. Thank you very much.